Welcome back to Babel. Let's go on with the next stage. The second stage, Menir, takes its name from the mysterious standing stones. Only those who stand tall against these megaliths will be victorious. The giant walls that appear almost at random will separate the true climbers from the amateurs. Go forth and use your expertise and intuition to forge a path. Let's go. I'm quite fond of Menir. I actually managed to complete this one before Altar when I originally played. The unlock requirement is three gold medals on normal or more difficult. Stage 2, the Menir. Battle stands defiant, thrusting into the sky. Will it be conquered? Vincent Brooks. I'm sure he will make it through to the finish line. Now it's time to challenge Babel. Just a little ex uh, demonstration of just how things can go wrong in Babel if you're not careful. New record. Having a little bit of trouble figuring out what I should do here. In reality, I made my mistake when I stepped on that cracked block. Shouldn't have done that. Now I've got a block hanging above my head. And this is a very, very difficult situation to salvage. That's not the way to do it. Now I've got two tall vertical um, lines of blocks. Not an easy thing to work with, and I'm just making things worse. Three, two, so easy to accidentally screw yourself over with collapsing blocks. Anyway, what this stage really wants you to do a lot of is uh, the swing out, where you kind of like pull a block over and then come New round record. it, New and of course Inazuma, which we're all familiar with, I hope. New record. What is he going to do? New record. New record. To start with, there's an awful lot of these situations where you have one block at an edge that is lower than the others and just a matter of pulling it across. Pulling a block across to reach it. New record. I also drop the stage a bit more frequently here. It's just the, by far the simplest way to handle things. New record. Always be careful which block you're pulling out so that you can avoid any unnecessary collapses. New record. New record. New record. New record. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. New record. Dropping part of the stage can be quite good for making a way up. New record. New record, new record, new record. Going to need to do a very small Inazuma here. Get us up to the next stage. New record, new record. Meneer is hmm, about 200 steps tall. Uh, in general, each stage of Babel is about 50 steps taller than the last. New record, new this can lead to an awful lot of hard work once you get to uh, Obelisk and Axis Mundi. New record, new record. New record. For the most part though, Meneer is pretty simple at this point. New record. New record. New record. Still a lot of benefit to be had from making these wide landings. Gives Vincent a lot of room to work with. New record. New record. New record. New record. Keep moving to avoid being skewered. New record. There, that's these crack blocks dealt with. Don't need to worry about them. New record. Here come the trap blocks. As in the normal game, they will kill you instantly. 
I get the feeling this is becoming less, t less Takeshi's castle and more running man. New record, new record, new record. New record. You'll notice that the stage has also suddenly got a bit wider. New record. Hmm, gonna have to drop this. There. Now let's cross over to the other side. New steps. This is quite a tall wall. You have to be very careful what blocks you pull out here. New record. New record. New record. New record. Seems to have made it to the top. Okay. This was a bit of a risky move. I should not so much. I should have looked down before I ended up dropping off the edge like that. It's very, very easy to have yourself hanging in a position where there's actually nothing for you to land on if you're not watching what you're doing. Which is, you know, as you would guess, disaster. New record, new record. New record, new record. I'm going to pull this block in to make a pillar I can use. And again, I'll push this out to get that block above me that I can use to climb up with. Ah, that unmovable block is going to be a pain though. New record. I'm going to have to get this block and let it fall down to become a platform for other blocks. New record. New record. That seems to have worked. Hmm. New record. Drop the stage again, since there's just one block holding out. There isn't really any way I could have pulled that block out without causing a messy collapse. New record. New record. New record. Easiest way would be to pyramid or slide out over on the right hand side here. New record. New record. New record. At this point, it's got pretty simple. This is a great part place to just drop that part of the stage. It'll all fit together very nicely once you do so. New record, new record, new record. New record. New record, new record. Walls here are pretty solid, not causing any real difficulty at the moment. New Let's new see what's coming up next. Ah, this shouldn't be a problem. Just going to be able to pull out one of those blocks on the left hand side. Oh, make sure I won't get the crack block first. New record. This time, head up the right hand side. New record. New record. New record. I get the feeling that Manir is probably the stage that the main game has prepared me for the best. New record. New record. New record. Well, if it's, uh, it's got an emphasis on things like Inazuma and all that sort of thing. Edge. On using the pyramid and the... Oh, what's it called again? The slider. That's it. <laughs> On using the pyramid and the slider to make your way up walls. The 
this is all stuff that was drilled into you all the way through the main game. New record. New record. Now reaching 120 steps. New record. 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 Hmm. Slightly tricky situation. Oh, that could have been bad. That's okay though. Just hit level eight. New record. New record. New record. About another seventy steps to go. New record. New record. This be over. New record. New record. New record. New record. New record to 140. There's also a bit of a focus on trap blocks here. And they really are the easiest blocks to deal with, I think. New record. Even easier to deal with than crack blocks because you see it and you know what you have to do with it. You can't really screw yourself over later with a trap block. Because either it's activated and it's safe, or it's not. So you activate it and you make it safe. They're nowhere near as problematic as many other blocks can be. That's one of the other things that will make many are a bit simpler. Certainly getting there. New record. New record. Pulling out this block will prevent anything collapsing. If I pulled out the trap block first, we'd have got a bit of a mess. New record. New record. New record, right. new record, new record, new record, new record. 170 stacks. Hmm. Yeah. Drop that 100 kilogram block and then drop the rest. And that'll make a nice way I can make a step with this crack block. New record, new record, new record. Skills move me to tears. I haven't been this excited in a while. Sounds like we've impressed Trisha, so the ending is not far. New record, new record, new record. I often have a bit of problem with the uh, with the start of Manier's ending. Mainly because these are 100 kilogram rocks, I kind of want to get rid of them. I do need a block to work with, so I'm going to pull out that one and then let it drop, and that'll give me access to it instead of having it hanging over my head. New record, new Reaching record. Now that I've actually got a bit more of a base to work with, the rest will be easy. New record, new record, new record, new record is in sight. Must have dropped quite a few levels because it looks like I'm going to have about 108, 188, <laughs> 188 levels there. The Manier is over. Ooh, that was pretty impressive. And that's me beating my record. Unfortunately, I wasn't signed into Xbox Live, so it won't be reflected on the leaderboards. Shit. Well, can't be helped. See you next time for Obelisk.
otherwise known as the most bullshit level of them all.